What's up, everybody? This is Dave, and let's play some Demon Souls. Sorry for the delay between episodes. Had a bit of minor save file corruption, which is what you do when your PlayStation is eight years old. Jesus. Put two Grand Theft Autos, three Mass Effects, three CODs, and a bunch of other shit through this thing. So, not really surprised for experiencing some slight technical difficulties. But, I swear to you, we've done nothing that we haven't already done. And in our last episode, we defeated the Demon Phalanx, a giant blob surrounded by a bunch of other smaller blobs. We got our body back, so our footsteps now make noise, and we've got our entire health bar. And now, we are going to go back to the Nexus and talk about story construction. Plenty of ways to tell a story, and as a nominal RPG, Demon's Souls tells most of its story by having you wander around and talk to every random character you come across. In most cases, you can generally trust that those characters will be telling you the truth. Welcome back. Ooh. Yes. The monumental awaits the above. Oh, good. Then we can level up. Very Raimi-esque camera work we have here. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Now see, that right there. That is about the vaguest bunch of directions I've ever seen in a video game. Uh, especially if you haven't seen, you may have seen the Monumental's portrait come up if you've been watching the loading screens up to this point. There is a chance you might have seen him amidst all of the other paintings and pieces of concept art they use to give you something to stare at while the game loads. But if you haven't, uh, you really have no idea what the hell you're looking for. And as you can probably see in the Nexus, there's a lot of up. Uh, a lot of above, I should say, in the Nexus. Uh, and if you don't know what you're looking for specifically, you could spend hours wandering around this doorless church. And, uh, talking to everyone you see, finding that none of them are the monumental. And none of them allow you to spend all of the wonderful souls you got by fighting those demons. The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Uh, that uh, leveling up is her job, uh, the maiden in black's job. But you, uh, yeah, yep. And until you visit the monumental, the monument, the mo that's all she's got to say. Okay, so let's talk to Cresty over here. Still alive. I am in. This is something that might interest us. Mm -hmm. The Black Road Maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type, with eyes occluded by wax. Yeah, I kind of figured that. She can control souls like no other. Ah, yes, he's telling you. Her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware. Do not devolve into a foul beast. Yeah, so, he just told you what I just told you in the game's own particular ergot. Uh, but, I mention all of this because it happened to me the first time, and it was one of the many, many things that almost made me rage quit. Oh, wait, before we go up here, we can do some, a little something-something over here with our boy Thomas. What was that about, running off like that? Oh, sorry. I had to go, yeah. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. Okay, yeah. 
we've, we've got that one. So, let's put all of our... Deposit all of our shit. Yes, we have a ton of stones. And it is best to empty your pockets in between. Mmm, keep that though. In between each level. Uh, last thing you want is to become overburdened. Well, you're in the middle of something. Can I can I wear the helmet yet? Let's find out. Best of uh, probably not. I'll probably still be fat rolling. Oh god, yes. Nope. Not yet. We'll save that one for later. But for now, let's go find the monumental and find out what the hell is going on around here. Yes. Love this place, though. God, just the architecture. The interior design. Yeah, you are in trouble, buddy. Aren't we all? Yeah, see, look at this thing. Looks a bit monumental, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah, but that is not the monumental that you're looking for. Sword and spear? Huh. This looks like somebody's overcompensating a bit. Says the man with the giant spear that's also an axe. What you gotta do, and if you don't want to wander around frustrated as a motherfucker, is go up here, and... You will find, oh, yes, a whole bunch of dead monks. I mean, like a whole bunch of them. Uh, this was fairly obviously their church. Upside down statues and everything, huh? And they, uh,. Meditated themselves into oblivion, it seems. I didn't. The fundamentalist Jainists would say, good for them. That's, that's what you're supposed to do. But, uh, yeah. As far as the rest of us is, are concerned, this little tableau might seem a bit creepy. What does that say? Uh huh, thank you. Yes, we know. Yeah. As you can see, they all have candles in front of them. All seem to have burnt out in various and sundry patterns. Except for this one, which is still lit. Oh, and this guy follows you as you wander around. And you may recognize his voice from the first episode. His, her, what, hish. What, Zer? What, I'm not really sure. Uh, but let's figure out what the hell's going on here. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. <laughs> yeah, bet you have. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. Again, bang up job, Avatar Rang. to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. Ah, and how'd that work out for you? In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united, owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king 
of the borrowers underground. One was the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest-worshipping shadowmen. And the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. And how did that happen? Are we gonna get an answer there? No. But by the power of the monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. I.e., the rest of the game has opened up, and you may now proceed in now any order time. you like. You must lull the old one back to its slumber. Capital and seal I. seal it away for all eternity. In it. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Very Stephen King. Have you the strength to accept this mission? I do believe so, yes. Yes. We are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Ew. Uh, I don't know if I want to really have anything to do with the old one's bosom myself, but good message, good message. Yes, found out where the message write and recommend button was. It's the start button, the button you use for gestures in deep, or this game's sequel. So. Uh, but here we go. Let's see what else he's got to say for himself. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul arts. Neutralized. Then we spread the archstones, and in order to mend reality, monumentals we became. However, man's memory of history is o'er short, <laughs> and before long, he repeated his mistakes. The monumentals perished, and the archstones were long forgotten. And the short-sighted King Alant once again aroused the old one and so you see the results of that incredibly stupid decision um, but again there's what real reason do we have to trust this little fucker over here I mean his was the voice that led us to our death back in the tutorial and now we're trapped here in this place. Uh, our only exits lead into demon infested wilderness. And you can keep going up all you want. There's really nothing up here ex except for this door. Yes. And in this door you'll find the leaderboards. Ha! <laughs> okay, yeah. Pretty sure that's me in another playthrough. Uh, but, let's see if there's anything else up here. Nope. Ooh. Someone's rocking the... Hmm. There's an idea. Yeah. We may have to go that route. Uh, but first, let's see here. Yeah, top of the charts. Ooh, look at that. There's somebody's, yeah. Uh, somebody's rocking the silent chief's armor. That's nice. Uh, but anyway, yes, again, not the monumental you're looking for. And uh, casual missing a, 
of a turn from left to right could result in just the most aggravating part of the entire experience here. On the plus side, after that, nothing the game could serve up on my plate proved half as annoying. But on the minus side, as I said, it took me about two weeks of calming down, doing other shit, before I came back to Demon Souls and figured out what to do with myself. And even then, that was only the start of my falling down this rabbit hole of nuance, deliberate obfuscation, and just good old-fashioned untrustworthiness. I mean, if this is the best way to lull the old one back to slumber, uh, seriously, is this this is your plan? You you uh, lead random assholes to their deaths, trap them here, and then send them out uh, to try and slaughter every last demon, like as in every last one of them? Yes. Uh, yeah, doesn't sound like the best plan in the world to me. What about you, Cresty? What do you think? Have you met the last surviving monumental? We have. Those fools revived the old one on a whim. Really? And now they've trapped us here in the Nexus in a desperate attempt to undo their mistake. Desperate, yes, that's a very good it's word. It's all a travesty, if you ask me. I, I did, yes. Now, see, now, Cresty thinks that they... Yeah, those fools, he says, revived the old one on a whim. Uh, was that... Now, the Monumental says it was King Alance. Uh, but then again, was that King Alance whim? Did he, like... I don't know, did he Batman in here through the skylight and talk to Avatar Aang up there? Kind of talk them into waking up the old one? How? I mean, even if he was a king, he'd still be just some idiotic mortal trying to arouse God a eldritch abomination from beyond the bounds of time and space what what ugh, what monumentals worth their title would go along with such an asinine idea uh, I don't know or did King Alant somehow a mortal man manage to overpower ha these half-living sentinels of all reality. It, it's, yeah, it, no, it, the story doesn't add up. There's something missing there. And I would argue that it's deliberately missing in order to encourage the kind of rank speculation that I'm engaging in right now. Uh, but let's see what the maiden has to say for himself, for herself, rather. Brave soul who fears not death. Yes. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Well, when you put it like that... Oh, good. Those are your multiplayer stones. Yes. T temporarily connect the diffused worlds. Shoot. Yeah. And the maiden controls it. Yes, this power allows her to aid those who slay demons. And she's about to say something that might or might not be the smoking gun to all this mess. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? I do. I know you got soul. If you didn't, you wouldn't be in here. So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Well, since you asked so nice, uh, I think I will touch the demon inside you, milady. Uh... It's... See, the Monumental just said, Go forth, destroy every last demon. Uh, does that include her? Be kind of self-defeating, since she's how we level up. But but st if if we're supposed to destroy every last demon, then, then what what is this... Why do we have one right here with a fucking light pole just wandering around? The, the, oh, man. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. 
Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So, yeah. Yeah. A lot of facets to all this. As for me, I'm only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Uh-huh. Right. You're just an unassuming maiden in black. I keep the candles who somehow has the power to control souls. Um yeah. Art thou done? Yes. May thine strength help the world be mended. Yeah. I don't know. I don't trust you. I don't know, lady. I like you, but but I don't necessarily trust you. And I know I don't trust you, motherfucker. You're you're just a depressive, sad sack. What's happened? Have you lost your mind? And I got you in a pinch. No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. At least we will be safe. <laughs> so you think now? Yeah, so. These are the twin poles that will be pulling at you for the rest of this game. Uh, yes, do, do lull the old one back to its ancient slumber at the behest of uh, have immortal child and is, well, I don't know, nanny? Uh, minion? Uh, hmm, mom? No. Uh, or give up now. Just quit. Because that's what Cresty's there to represent. He's the guy who's just given up, walked away. What's happened? No matter. Have a seat. We can sit here forever. <laughs> yeah, I just love that line. Oh, God. But how far have we been going? Yep, it's about time. So, we're going to cut it off right here. And we're going to chew on all that. And next time, when we come back, we're going to take on the mines. So, hope to see you then. And... Thanks for watching. Let's play Demon's Souls.